So I got a comment the other day saying, your dream job, this channel, was based around improving your health. If your health improved, you lose your dream job of yesteryear. You would be surprised at how many times I get this exact comment. I'm all about healing, but if I ever heal, it's over. You're wrong, dream boy. <laughs> So when I started this channel back in 2013, really it was 2009 was my first attempt at a video. I just got a camera for the first time, a digital camera. I was like, oh my God. And I like opened a coconut and that was my video. And that was my channel for the next four years. But in 2013, I felt like I had finally healed myself and figured out that dairy was causing my colitis and I knew enough to teach the world and give people hope who had colitis that hey you can heal this thing I'm not on any meds no flares everything's good just I'm avoiding dairy you might want to do that too so as I continued making videos the channel just took so many strange twists where I just like I wasn't fully healed so I kept experimenting and it kind of has been just all about my healing journey a perpetual healing journey never to be completed it's bullshit but when I get the comment that says, if you actually healed your channels over, what would you talk about? It would, I'd be talking about how I healed and how you can heal. Like, that's the goal of the channel. It's not to stay sick. It should be to complete the healing and then, okay, we have a protocol. The only problem is everybody is so different. We all need different protocols. So I have a lot of experience in each protocol that could heal you. That's my strength. It's like, you need to be carnivore? Okay, I can teach you how to do that. I did it for like two years off and on. It's like, okay, I know that. I know plant-based, high carb. I know how to lower the sugar sometimes. And the uh, high fat vegan. It's like, I have a lot of juice fasting tools, water fasting, dry fasting. I'm a man of all trades, master of nothing. Oh, that's good times. I get the same comment on my camera channel because I'm in search of the perfect camera and they'll say like, oh, what happens when you finally get the perfect camera? What do you talk about that? I'll find things. You don't know that I couldn't. It's like I'm always testing stuff just for my camera homies. The last several, I've been making a lot of these skateboard videos. I'm sorry if you hate them, but they're so fun. I'm going to visit my mom and I enjoy making videos along the way in nature. It's really fun for me. So. I've been using the DJI Action 4 on all the last like eight videos across both channels doing this. And now I'm trying the GoPro. See, is the GoPro better? Does it handle exposure better? Is it sharper? Audio. Wow. So it's fun to test and there's not ever going to be a perfect camera that ends everything. And if I did, then I start using it, doing stuff like this. But my channel's never been meant to just be stuck in a sick body, never healing. Like, I've healed so much. I've made so much progress over the years. It's not even funny. I've never felt as good as I feel now, as a young child even. I was tired as an 11-year-old. I couldn't keep up with my friends on my bike. I was like, this, I'm so tired. Aren't you guys tired? Like, I was sick early on. He's clicking in. Oh, boy. That's dangerous. Those clicky pedals... And then what happens if you want to get off quick? It's not always coming off. So I'm just a very curious person. So this channel has taken so many weird directions that I just, I had to try everything out there. And it's weird that I've come to this balanced place where the most comments I get over the years is, why don't you just eat a balanced diet? I thought you had to be super extreme on something like nothing but grapes and super detox and I didn't think I could just eat a wide variety of food. It was like, I'm already having digestive troubles eating simple things. How do you think complicating the meal is going to heal me? But for whatever reason, it actually does. Because you get more nutrients, a wider variety of antioxidants and everything. And it's like, okay, balance is actually quite nice and it's fun to eat. And then you can eat with the seasons more. Because like, oh, fruit's in season more in the summer. Okay, you eat a bit higher fruit. And then like fall is coming now. We're going to have squashes and stuff. And what do you do in the winter? It's very different. High fat, high grains and sprouted mung beans. I got some. Oh, the gas awaits me. I'll tell you that much. 
another little side rant. I juiced cabbage yesterday. I could not believe the gas increase. I'm already pretty gassy, but my God. And I also got a comment from one of you saying, just try eliminating kale for once. You know what? I think I'm going to follow your advice and stop with the cruciferous for now. I'm gonna make my big salads, but use actual lettuce and simpler things and see what happens. Cause I do believe the gas is from all these sulfur cruciferous vegetables. I just, I can't handle too much of them. And then we slowly add in a little bit, one leaf of kale and we go for there. So like me getting healthier and healthier, ending the channel, like it makes no sense. I, the more healthy I feel, the more energy I have, the more I want to spread the message. It's the opposite when I'm like kind of struggling with my health and I'm like, what do I even talk about here? Like I'm a health channel and I suck at health. <laughs> That's not fun. So like now I feel so good. I've made way too many videos. So like I released seven last week I gotta just keep releasing them because I make so many. I have so much energy, especially with the intermittent fasting. I just, I have to keep making the content. It's all I'm thinking about is how can I, what can I talk about? And I'm going through your comments and making videos about comments. So it's fun times. So like the future is bright. The healthier I get, the more I will have to say and the more respect will come because I'll have an actual protocol for each person. We'll have a good healthy mix of balanced diets for normal people and then like, okay, yeah, I think you should try a little seven days on watermelon, clean out that gut. Some people need that level. It helped me along my way, spiritually, especially. The dry fasting, five days is my record. Will you die doing it? I don't know, a lot of people seem to die on that one. So I'm not too in a hurry to get back to those, but I do want to beat my record and continue on 12 days dry. It's fun disproving doctors who say you'll die after like three days of no water. It's like, I've been five. I've definitely seen death, but I avoided it. I didn't go to the light. I just like, oh, that's a nice light. What? No, what's over here? So unfortunately for you, you're stuck with me and I'm never stopping. And I do plan on being a 90 year old man making videos, maybe not on the skateboard because one fall in my brittle vegan bones will snap. But so far, so good. I have plenty to look forward to in life and things are fun. I enjoy my job. It's a dream job. I get to make videos and help people. If, if not with my health advice, at least cheer you up sometimes. A little smile. That's so healing. You have no idea. I think with my mom, like I'm going to visit her. I think my just spending time with her and making her laugh is helping more than all my diet advice. So it's like, it's important. So like, I feel very comfortable with what I do. I just, I like to create art, just funny stuff, but well-meaning, something that can actually help people. It's not just like comedy with no purpose, like a gaming channel or something. It's like, oh, this is funny, but he's just playing video games and I'm wasting my time. It's like that. And then creating slow motion sequences with music. Just, I want to create beauty and fun and there's plenty to come, so. Thank you for your concerns, but I'm never stopping, no matter how gray and bald I get. Thank you all for noticing that my hair has thinned slightly. It's an instant ban. It's the easiest way to get instantly banned on the channel and enjoy your darkness where you cannot speak. How are you doing? Are you subscribing? Thumbing up the video? That's nice. Thumbs down. If you have gray hairs on your bum, how would you even know? You'd have to get a mirror to look down there. It's probably the last place to go gray. Why are we talking about this? I should just leave and I'm going to do that now after you subscribe for more videos. I'll see you later.